Yeah, they do taxi. Taxi? Uh, to London, yeah? Yeah? Taxi to London? Yeah? No, no, no. No, no, no. All right, okay. okay. I'll go this way then. Thank okay. you. <laughs> right, it's time to say goodbye to India one last time. It's time to go home. Are you okay? <laughs> you know, everywhere I go in India, I get harassed by these dodgy taxi drivers. Can I have a, can I have a selfie with you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I've seen your videos, man. Have you? Have yeah, you? I'm have sure you? I have. Yeah, they're a bit terrible, but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what everyone says. That's what the comment section is all about. <laughs> How you doing, man? All right. Good. I couldn't get the internet to work here, so I was like, oh, trying... you have to go. Oh, it's, it's yeah, a pain. It's, it's like, a pain. such a pain. Yeah. Right. All right, so I need to check in, please, for Heathrow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Use my phone. Thank you very much. All right, all checked in. Let's go and grab a coffee with this random taxi driver. So, many happy welcome to um, Delhi, everybody. And look who I have bumped into here, Mr. Josh Cahill. How are you doing? <laughs> India's favorite aviation YouTuber. India's favorite <laughs> YouTuber. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I wish. <laughs> you, you're on Vistora today, then? No, yeah? no, no, oh. no, 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 no. I walked past the, the gates over there and I got <laughs> some uh, scary looks. But no, Vistora, don't worry, you're not flying. I'm flying <laughs> Nepal Airlines today. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, I hope Fantastic. you get a nice seat, mate. That was fun last time. <laughs> Come on, <ask> me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't take your shoes off. guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> You're off Air India today. I'm off to Air India, yeah, absolutely. So, heard a lot um, of good things, Air India. You're on the right track. Yeah, it should be good. the pride of India again. So should be good, yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. So, Highlighted. So, so yeah, looking forward to it with business class off to back to London, actually. Thank um, you. I've had a really tough time here in India these last couple of weeks. <laughs> it's, been, it's not an easy place on your own, is it? India can be challenging. I love and hate it. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Unfiltered, but uh, has an amazing aviation scene, great airlines, and they're trying so much things, you know, you, you've seen it yourself. It's, yeah. always, it's always fun to come here, it, right? It, it is good fun, I'll give you that. It's fun and, to arrive, um, but yeah. it's also like sometimes good to leave again. It's, <laughs> it is, I feel amazing that I'm finally actually getting on a plane back to London. But I do have to say though, ladies and gentlemen, as a friend, Josh, you've been amazing while I've been here, like giving me that support over WhatsApp and everything and just like geeing me up when I've been a bit down. So yeah, thank you for that, I appreciate no, it. No, no, that's always there. We are, we are in this uh, community, we're here to support each other, right? That's and absolutely, uh, that's yeah, what, it, yeah. what it's all is about, right? And uh, I love your content and you given so much to <laughs> FPs in the world. Wise, so I'm like, I'm just like, great that I have you as a friend and uh, perhaps soon, if you want, we go and uh, travel together. Make that some would videos. Be amazing. Content. How much fun would that be? That'd be amazing fun. You can imagine that. I'll be up in business class and I'll let you sit in the back row and yeah, then, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, like usually, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's my destiny. It's always <laughs> right in the back. That's where I belong, you know. Stay grounded. Stay grounded. You know, that YouTube success hasn't gotten into my it's head yet. It's not going into your head, not like me. No, exactly. Yeah, well, at least I'm not first class on Emirates all the time. So yeah, we've got, right. no, I'm sure. sort of a nice, like, medium. But yeah. There you go. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to go on my flight, but nice to see you. Josh, have a great right. flight to Kathmandu. I will. I will. See you, man. See you later. I've never flown international from Delhi Airport before, so this is a new experience for me. Um, a bit nicer than the domestic bit, I have to say. Um, we're going to try and find the lounge now, see if it's any better than the, or any nicer than the Air India um, domestic lounge here. But let's go and find it. Thank you. Flying Air India business class today on board their Boeing 787 back to London and you know what I've never flown Air India long haul before I've um, flown domestically with them and they weren't too bad but it's going to be interesting to see what they're like I've heard so many mixed reviews about their business class um, on the service in general especially on the long haul routes so um, yeah should be a good little ride home it's about a nine hour flight from here in Delhi I've got me Kingfisher one last Kingfisher while I'm here in Delhi before we get home back to the UK all right, time to go home. Let's go and get on board the Air India Dreamliner back to London. Oh, goodness, they're boarding already. Wow. Hello. 
Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Right, there she is, the Air India Dreamliner that's going to take me home, country roads. Or back to London at least. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Namaste. Thank you. This way, please. Thank you. Alright then, so Air India's Dreamliner then. Welcome on board my ride back to London. There's a Dreamliner engine of course. We've got a nice life flat bed here. And the seats very nicely decorated with Air India's nice Indian restaurants theme that they've got going on here. Very good, very good. Um, nice little screen here, IFE. Storage bits with headphones. What we've got down here, empty literature bits. What have we got under here? USB 3 pin plug of course. Remote control, bottle of water. And the controls for the flatbed are up here. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Uh, about nine hours today, back to London. I cannot wait to get home. It's gonna be a good flight this one. I can just feel it in my bones. Um, yeah, let's go home. Nice choice of either watermelon juice or buttermilk. Um, I've had buttermilk while I've been here and it's, it just tastes like off milk, so I'm not having that, but um, the watermelon should be nice. Very nice. So I mean, apart from the sort of um, Indian restaurant theme of Air India's um, business class, um, it's interesting, it's not, it seems in a very well worn condition i'm just looking around the seat here we've got like a little light thing here is sort of broken and exposed there and the 787 window button look at this look at the state of this look at that dirt ew ew the grime the grime ew um but it's um yeah it's all right, I might use this button a bit further down for today's flight. This one in front of me is very well worn um, and sort of a bit minging. But um, other than that, well, the staff are quite nice anyway, quite friendly. Um, from the few that have spoken to me so far anyway, um, most of them have been busy doing other stuff, but um, yeah, um, not too bad all in all. Um, let's see what the flight's like. Um, that's going to be the interesting thing, isn't it? So that's why they give you a hot towel, isn't it? There we go, much better. Power's gone out. It's all gone dark. It's getting very warm on board now. <laughs> Somebody wants to get put in the meter, will you? I thought this was a Delta issue. <laughs> Captain Sanjay Banwal is in command. The flight today is 8 hours and 40 minutes and the distance 7,425 kilometers. I don't remember the last time I was handed a newspaper on board a flight, but this is pretty cool, isn't it? We'll go through the Hindustan times later on. All right, so I just had an alert on my phone that the flight is 45 minutes late, um, which is great because nobody's mentioned anything on the flight. So um, yeah, looks like we've got nearly an hour delay today. Um, we haven't even gone back from the gate yet. So um, interesting. <laughs> All right, so not a good start. That 45 minute delay is now a one hour delay. They've just come on and announced they've hit a technical snag with the aeroplane, which is just what you want to hear before you embark on a nine hour flight. Um, <laughs> but um, yes, an hour now until we leave. Um, let's see if we arrive into London today. Mine bunny's on probably about a two hour delay, but um, we'll see. 
if I'm right or not. Um, hopefully it's sooner, but um, it's Air India, so mm, who knows? We'll find out. So a passenger across the aircraft um, has got to their seat and there's like a massive um, bit of metal sticking out of the seat. So now they're going to see if they can fix that as well. <laughs> Good reel, isn't it? Okay, so they fixed it with a bit of gaffer tape. <laughs> so that's all good, I suppose. <laughs> oh, oh, doors are closing. We're already 45 minutes after our departure time. Fingers crossed. Engine started on the gate, on the stand. That's a new one on me. Check out the menu. No expense spared here, India. Photocopied a bit of A4. There we go, that'll do. Who needs fancy menu cards anyway? Got no soup, clearly. Soup's out. <laughs> Our flight time to destination will be 8 hours and 40 minutes. And our cruising altitude will be flight level 400 or about 40,000 feet. The weather destination is expected to be uh, rainy. Our route back to London today then took us over Pakistan, Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan before flying into Russia. We flew to the south of Moscow before crossing Belarus, Lithuania, Poland and Germany before starting our descent over Amsterdam into London. Flight time today was 8 hours and 40 minutes, cruising at 36, 38 and 40,000 feet. Alright so finally airborne from Delhi heading home back to London. It's been fun, but it's also been exhausting being here in India. Um, looking forward really to getting home um, in about eight, nine hours time, depending on how long it ends up taking us. But um, yeah, it's just um, been absolutely exhausting. Traveling around India is just, it is so exhausting, especially when you're on your own as well. It can be very, very challenging. It's not an easy place to travel around. Um, and I'm very fortunate that I've had back at home Rach um, supported me from home remotely, even when it's got really, really low. Um, and obviously friends as well, like Josh, um, who's been really supportive of me while I've been here in India too. So um, yeah, it's been challenging, but it's also been quite rewarding. I've met some absolutely incredible people on this trip to India, um, that ha people that I won't forget. And I've had some amazing and really memorable experiences too. Um, on this flight, on this trip rather to India. It's just been um, so nice, but I'm not in any hurry to come back just at the moment. I've got other places to go to as well, so but maybe one day, maybe one day I'll be back here in India, but um, never mind. Let's um, sit back and enjoy the Air India hospitality on our flight back to London. I'm guessing that the last person to sit in this seat was female, given that um, she's left one of her hairs behind on the window. <laughs> Alright, so despite the fact that it's an entirely daytime flight, taking off at lunchtime and arriving in late afternoon, um, the windows have all been dimmed, um, so we're not going to be seeing much out the window, sadly, on this flight. All right then, let's have a look see what Air India have left us in our little um, pouch. And we've got a nice pair of Air India slippers. Should be sure to check those bad boys out later. And then we got this. A mysterious Air India envelope. Aha! Nice pair of stylish Air India socks. And a nice stylish Air India eye mask. And that's it. Great. Um, thanks. 
thanks Erin here I'll file that with me photocopy at menu so another thing that was quite interesting when we took off is that they didn't make anybody put their um, hand luggage from in front of their business class seat into the overhead bins which most airlines do um, but like this lady in the middle has her hand back there and the guy over the other side has a bag on his um, on the floor at the side of him and they were seemed to be all right with that for takeoff so um, read into that what you will as well So I got my rum and coke for my flight, that's all good, all good, all good in the hood. Um, interestingly, when I got on the flight, the purser was really nice and he came up to me and he said, oh, he noticed the camera and he's like, oh, you're filming, brilliant. Um, look forward to seeing the video, let me know if there's anything I can do to help or anything. Um, yeah, since we've had all the technical issues and the delays and things, he seems to have um, changed his mind a little bit and now he's like moaning at me for filming, telling me I'm not allowed to film under any circumstances, any of the service on the flight or anything like that. So, um, yeah, well, guess what that means. We're just going to have to be a little bit more discreet, aren't we? <laughs> but, um, yeah, interesting how they change their mind, isn't it? Very interesting how they um, sort of change their mind when they start having issues. But, um, hey, <sighs> warts and all, that's how it's going to be. <sighs> all right, start has turned up for me food. i got some salmon, and cob, and a bit of garlic bread. Should be all right, shouldn't it? Um, let's try this. Let's try it, salmon. Tastes salmony, which is good for salmon. Oh my flipping goodness, they've just unlocked the window blinds so we can open them. Just look at this view as we are over the Himalayas. That is incredible. This is why we love flying, guys. Look at this view. Oh, my days. Incredible. Unbelievable. I mean, dinner's turned up, too. Gone for a chicken tikka masala for today's tea. That looks nice. I'll have that in a moment. After I finish ogling the Himalayas. All right, then. Let's check out this dinner. I've got chicken tikka masala for me tea tonight. Or this afternoon, rather with a um, bit of a naan bread or a roti rather which isn't quite a naan bread it's like a thin naan bread um, some sauce stuff and yeah let's give it a go mm. quite nice my last curry my last Indian curry on this trip oh it's very spicy though oh flipping it it is a bit spicy. Ooh. But damn delicious though. I mean, come on, I don't care what you say, there is no denying that that isn't just absolutely bloody majestic. The cumulonimbus there, the Himalayas down below it, what an absolutely incredible incredible work of art it is flying and seeing this sort of scenery from the above i mean come on this is just unbelievable wow Yeah, the views were fun while they lasted, weren't they? They've just locked the windows down again, so we can't see out again. Never mind. <laughs> Although I wanted to look out the window anyway, but it's okay. It's time for the Noel Phillips Flu Review. Right, well, seeing as though there is no view at the moment, I thought I'd come and say hello to the loo and do a little bit of a loo review on the plane with no view. Um, and what have we got down here? we got a sink little signage, few like toiletries and stuff, relatively clean although there is liquid matter on the floor, um, lovely, which I've been wearing my shoes, um, hey there's me, hello, and that's pretty much it on board the Air India Loo so far and how is it going? Well, <laughs> I mean, aside from the delays and the 
technical problems with the plane and the service and the crew and um, actually <laughs> it's a bit crap really isn't it not that great I have to say um, yeah, you know me, I'll tell you like it is, I'm not Sam, um, some other YouTuber, um, let's say, um, I will tell you exactly how it is, if it's, if it's good, it's good, I'll tell you, and if it's not good, well, I'll let you know as well, and this one, hmm, it's, in, it's in the theatre crap stage, I have to say, but never mind, the good thing is, it's taking us home, back to the UK, which is always a bonus after a trip, as long as this one has been, so yeah, it's nice to be on my way home, anyway, going back to my seat before I get told off for being in the toilet for too long you know let's go that was the Noel Phillips Lou Review all right shall we go through the in-flight entertainment then and see what options we got here on Air India let's have a little look at what we have movies let's see English Hindi regional international let's have a look at English English Hollywood latest um, Okay, there's four films. Let's have a look at the what other options we've got. Let's have a look. Oh, five more films on here. Oh, there's actually a few more, actually. Let's have a look. Well, yeah, a few movies there. Not too many, but um, not too bad, really. you've got more Hindi movies if you want to watch them good choice of um, Bollywood movies there if Bollywood is your thing um, music um, content not available okay so there's no music uh, games mm, content not available there's no games for young ones let's have a look what we got fast and furious wow okay I wouldn't have said fast and furious was a kiddie movie but never mind uh, Sky Bazaar, content not available. Uh, discover more, we can do a survey. Might do that later, that'll be a laugh on it. Let's have a look at the flight map. Flight map. Um, let's view the route. Uh, flight data unavailable. Oh, 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 oh. Please wait. Oh, we've got an Air India logo. This is going to be good. Let's have a look. Ah, <laughs> flight data unavailable. Great. So we don't know where we are. Um, we can watch Love Actually if we want to. Um, but other than that, um, I'm, I might just read that newspaper that they gave me earlier, eh? Okay, I'd like to put my reading light on, but um, the reading light ain't working either. Oh, and something else is not working. The um, three-pin plug and USB, the power's not working. So bring a power bank. Well, you can't pack them in your whole baggage when you fly through India. So um, it's a good job, really, because you need it when you fly Air India. Anyway, <laughs> amazing. Let's have a look at the Hindustan Times, shall we? If we can make it out in the dark. Do, 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 do. There we go, let's have a quick breeze through. There we go, in-flight entertainment, old style. Let's have a look. Ooh, communal tension flares up in seven states. All right, so let's have the menu round for the before landing meal, another sheet of A4, no expense spared of course, black and white, photocopy, you know, as it is, um, so these are the choices we got, I might go for the chilli chicken, yeah I think I'll have chilli chicken, alright so my dinner's turned up, my chilli chicken, let's give this a go shall we, see what it's like, So this I am, hang on. Hmm. 
I mean, aside from being lukewarm, it's probably one of the nicest meals I've had since I've been in India, to be honest. Very nice. It's alright, that is. Alright. So I have to say that the cabin crew on this flight, um, I've barely seen them, if I'm honest. I mean, they came around initially with the dinner service, then they darkened the windows and went off to the galley to read. Um, and then I've only just seen them again now, like an hour before landing when they brought around the rest of the food. Um, I did go up to the galley to request a glass of water at one point because I was like really thirsty and um, they begrudgingly um, give me a bottle of water um, for like after interrupting them reading their books or whatever they were doing set up in the galley but yeah it's not it's not that great i'll be honest i mean compared to some airlines where they keep coming around every couple of hours with drinks and things but none of that absolutely none of that um anytime i've wanted a glass of water i've had to go and beg for it and then get like scowled at for interrupting their reading material but um yeah not brilliant not brilliant and we still can't open the blooming windows We've still got dark windows and yeah we're not allowed to open them yet clearly i've got no idea where we are because well the um, in-flight entertainment doesn't work clearly the map doesn't work um so and even like people said before about using google maps to try and find your location but you can't really do that on a dreamliner because they've got these tinted windows um which stop you getting any sort of gps signal through them so um i've got i've got no idea where we are other than they brought through the pre-landing snack and other than the fact that we were originally due to be landing in about half an hour's time from now um so yeah i'm confused i don't know where we are um i guess we'll figure it out um as and when they come on and give us an update from the flight deck or something so um we'll figure it out then yeah, you'll never guess what the teachers have finally allowed all of us naughty school children to control our own windows. Yay! I feel like such a big boy now with all this responsibility. <sighs> After eight hours sitting in the dark, but never mind, we'll be landing soon anyway. <laughs> We've started our descent and we're nearly back in England. Oh, oh, oh. Home, home. <laughs> You have no idea what it feels like to see that view out of the window after two weeks on this trip in India. It's England, it's home. Yes. And it feels good, man. It feels so, so good. made it back in England <laughs> oh man I love it this feels so good Thank you very much. Thank you, bye bye. I don't know. I don't know. 
maybe it's back on British soil. Yeah, yeah like kissing the ground, but I don't know who else has walked on this ground, so we we'll probably won't, but um, yeah. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, live Zoom calls with me, and much, much more. All right, passport controls a breeze straight through there, even with me passport not working again like it never does, and having to go to see a nice smiley, friendly face. That was lovely. Let's go and see if my bag's made it now. My suitcase made it, yay! Miracles will never cease. I've gone through an entire trip through India and my bag has not got lost once. So that's pretty good going, I think. Right, let's go and go home. Hey Costa, how you doing? Good to see you. Well, here we are then, back at Heathrow Terminal 2 after a mammoth trip across India. Wow, um, what an adventure that has been. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video along with all the others that I've done here in India. I'll pop a link on the screen now to the rest of them so that you can go back through if you've not seen any. But in the meantime, I'm off to go home, <sighs> go and see the wife and kids. Finally, after two weeks, I can't wait to get back and see Rachel and the kids. Um, and um, yeah, well, who knows where my next adventure will take me, but you'll find out next week. Um, if you hit that subscribe button, of course, and you'll find out very soon. Anyway, thanks so much for watching as always. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.